Climb through the clutter, these are the hard facts. Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zavolinski, and this week on Hard Facts, I want you to be an explorer. Honestly, I'm over the whole Google Kool-Aid, but that doesn't mean we're off the bandwagon, especially when it comes to some of the reporting tools that they have available to us. So let's explore setting up Google User Explorer for your business. User Explorer allows us to identify individual users by their client IDs and isolate their data. This allows us to get micro in our evaluation of users, identifying the path a client or clients take but even better, we're able to personalize the user experience for them utilizing this information. The data that we are able to see once we enable the reporting and audiences sessions, average session, duration, bounce rate, revenue, transactions, goals, and conversion rates. When you drill down into an ID, you can see the acquisition date and channel for the user, along with an activity log that details what action the user took on your site during each session. Here you can see page views, goals, e-commerce, and events, all of these fields are completely customizable and removable for your data view. You can look at individuals, but you can also create segments, which are a great way to narrow down users who have performed a certain action or engage with specific content. For example, if they clicked a specific coupon or engage with a specific page. Segments are an important part of diving into your analytic performance because say a specific gender is identified as having low engagement on your site and a high bounce rate. You can segment by gender and review the user IDs in User Explorer. From here, you can identify the issue. Maybe the content skews heavily female in the graphics and video, therefore driving male clients quickly off your site. From this discovery, you can now export the IDs for the segment and personalize your site experience based on their IDs and direct each group to the relevant content for your ads. And once you've supplied the appropriate content to the right user, you can use that data available to you to influence the conversion or additional conversions on your site. If you're e-commerce based, you may find that shopping cart abandonment is popular for a specific segment of users, or many users buy one product but not the complementary product to their purchase. Now you can use this segment to retarget. What you could do is create segments based on the relevant behavior you identify in this user explorer group, report, and then use the segments for the retargeting audiences specifically. There are many other uses and strategies that can be employed from getting deep into user explorer. One additional step you should take is exporting user IDs. When doing so, you can merge the data with offline data or upload offline data into Google Analytics, allowing you to get a 360 view of your client and prospective clients' actions on your site. That's just another example of how a hard fact turns into a solid strategy. Like, tweet, or comment below on a topic you'd like me to cover, and I'll see you next week.